Okay, so this is a how-to video for a great stellated dodecahedron. Now, the first thing you're going to need is an icosahedron frame, like this one here, which I just made in the last video. So, if you don't have one of these, you can go watch my last video and I'll show you how to make one of these. But, for now, we have it. Uh, and then you're going to need to make 20 of these points here. And this is what they look like. You notice that they do look a lot similar to the pieces that you use to make the edges of the icosahedron. And I'm going to show you how to make these right now. So you want to start out with the same kind of thing, a uh, ring of magnets, except you want this to be two shorter than whatever you used to make the icosahedron. So in this case, we use rings of 26 for the icosahedron, so we're going to use rings of 24 for the uh, points. And so just like last time, what you want to do is smash it down. Cut it up. just like that. And a quick note on polarity here, because you don't want to build all these things and then have them be the wrong polarity. They should snap into here very easily. They just pop right in. So if the magnet on the end here, that magnet on the point, is going to just kind of touch like this, See how that is? That's not what you want. That is the wrong polarity. Instead, you rotate that. That actually switches the polarity, by the way. And then that'll just pop in nice and strong like that. Strong enough to where it screws up the icosahedron a little bit as I try to take it off, but it's all fixed. So, anyway, so you have these three. And you're going to want to attach them together just like you did when you were beginning the icosahedron. Except this time, when you get three of them, you're going to want to bend them around further. Let's see if I can show this well. And that'll pop together like this. So you end up with this shape. And then you want to bend the legs up towards you, and it pops like this. Now, if you flip that around, you can see those three magnets in the center. They form a little triangle. And what you actually want to do is take a chain and remove those without disturbing the rest of them, if you can. And sometimes it's a little bit finicky, but what you end up with is this. You can see there's kind of an empty hexagon ring in the middle. So then what you want to do from here is you want to kind of shear this one and my thumb is pushing this way and my other finger is pushing this way so what you want to do is kind of do that to it and that'll rearrange all the magnets here and that'll allow this to pop together in a triangle just like this and the back will look like this now this time you want to bend the legs down and the first thing will, that will happen is three magnets in the bottom behind here will pop together. And then as you continue to bend it down, three magnets in the top will split away like that. And so what you now want to do is take your chain again and remove those three magnets that just split away. So you end up with a top that looks like this. Now, the next thing you're going to need is a hex ring there and a little triangle. And what you want to do is add the hex ring onto the top like that. And then you want to add the triangle, uh, not like that, but like that on top. So you end up with this. And 
it seems to add a little bit of strength. It's not like the corner pieces on the icosahedron, but finishing off the point does seem to help it. Now, you'll notice at this point that the legs are uneven. And you're going to have two that end pretty much the same. One will be longer than the other, though. I don't know if you can see it very well in the video, but one of these is longer than the other. Looks like this is the long one. And then you'll have one that ends kind of backwards. See, this ends with the point pointing down and this ends with the point pointing sideways. So for the one with the point pointing sideways, you're gonna to wanna to take away two magnets and that'll fix it to where the point is pointing down. Now at this point, you'll have two that are identical and one that's long. And you can see it pretty well. Yeah, you see like that, these two are regular and then this one's a little bit longer. And so from that long one, you'll want to remove four magnets with your chain. And now all the legs are even, and this will have a length of 13. So, now you have that. And now you're gonna to wanna to add them on to the icosahedron. And these should just pop in to the corners like that. And, and again, just pop in and pop in. And just go ahead and add all of the points on. Here's the last one. And that is it. A great stellated dodecahedron.